we have arrived to the Resident Education Center. All right, so we have noon conference here every day from noon to 1.30. First hour is usually one of our med ed faculty or one of the subspecialists giving us a lecture on various topics and to split everything up into different weeks. Chris, I'll turn it over to you. Um, and as you can see, we've arranged the room uh, for infection precautions. We've spaced out all the desks, uh, six feet, so we all sit uh, nice and far apart. Um, and we've also adapted a hybrid model for our new conference where uh, part of the group's uh, video conference is in from our clinic building and people can conference in from home as well. And then we have a limited number in, in person here in the rack of about 15. Um, and Brandon can, can tell you about our uh, format for new, for resident report. Yeah, so we have this nice template and this nice virtual whiteboard where we can keep everything really organized, uh, go through the case, ask questions to people in the room and online, get all the information that we need to then build our differential diagnosis and talk through treatment options and clinical pearls with our subspecialists and our med ed faculty, which has been really nice. The new conferences have been, have been really exceptional. Do you guys have fun at noon conference? Yeah, definitely. It's a good time. It's yeah. a loose environment. Everyone's there to learn. It's not, not too high stakes or high pressure. Yeah, no, it's, been, it's been really nice lately. It's, just, it's really nice to be able to see everybody and chat for a little bit and have your lunch and learn something new. Yeah, it's nice to do it a little bit in person, I would say. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's one of the perks of being on wards, actually, right now, because this room is mostly for the inpatient folks. So. Cool. Chang, I heard this is your favorite spot in the hospital. It is. It's a great spot in the hospital. This is a great view of Portland. I really love, love it when I get to come up here and take in this wonderful view. Looking out west there, you can see the hills uh, on the west side over the, uh, past the river. And you can see that Portland is filled with wonderful trees and greenery. And this gives you an excellent view of that up here. Going. One of the best things about eating at Providence Portland is the hot food. Always delicious. And paid for on your meal card. Chang. Yes. What's your favorite thing to eat at Providence Portland? In general, I go to the hot food now that they don't have a salad bar anymore. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to eat? Um, I have a, I'm a big fan of the grill. We'll get a quesadilla. Um, the hot bar is always good. Uh, or I like to go upstairs to the Fountain Cafe and grab a salad. What? Dr. Roast. What is your favorite spot in the hospital? <laughs> Starbucks. <laughs> oh, an excellent answer. What? Sure. So this is 
one of our nice outdoor patios attached to the Starbucks. This is a great place to come out, just have some coffee, decompress with your team, talk about something that isn't medicine for like 10 minutes, restart your day. It's really nice. It's just so nice. It's vibrant, I'd say. I'd say it's vibrant. The flowers surely are. Okay. So this is the art hall. It's a connection between one part of the hospital and the cancer center, and it features the art of local Northwest uh, artists. And it looks like the feature this time has to do with certain views of Portland natural environment and the future chief yeah and our lovely coast is featured in a lot of these which is about an hour to an hour and a half away escape out there probably once a month lovely all right we are now at my favorite part of the hospital which is the cancer courtyard it's an awesome place to come out do your staffing Lunch from the Cancer Cafe right over here. They have wonderful salads. Come out here to decompress, get some coffee from Starbucks, hang out with some of your friends. Nice large garden. Do you staff out here? Yeah, from time to time. It's the best place. No protected health information here. We're just gonna do a little bit of slow walking in one of our nice floors. All of them. None of them are purchased. Oh yeah, I can't the library. This space is actually really nice. Theoretically, I think we could staff in here. <laughs> With computers? Yeah, you guys can use this space. Wow. Okay. Hello and welcome to the doctor's lounge. Here we have some nice little workstations that people can find a little quiet space to get some work done and nice area to sit and eat and hang out. We've got a nice little assortment of fresh cookies available for us to take whenever we like and even a Keurig machine with an assortment of coffees, hot chocolate tea, whatever your th kind of thing is. And they stock our fridge with some uh, soups available for warm up as needed. And there's uh, some kind of rotating selection of snacks and fresh fruit available as well. Uh, if you come into this area during lunchtime, you might find some of the staff hanging out, and maybe discussing cases or just watching uh, TV, the news, sports, whatever. Um, this is a place I like to come and staff um, or just hang out. What's your favorite doctor's lounge snack? My favorite doctor's lounge snack is definitely the cookies. But That's I have fair. A bit of a sweet tooth. What about you, Brandon Tempty? Mine is the coffee. You never have to have hospital mud here. <laughs> you always have either the Starbucks right there that you can get with your card, or you've got <laughs> good carrying coffee. <laughs> There's our ICU. What? Sorry, <laughs> my favorite place. <laughs> this is the ramp 
up to the resident room. Call rooms is one of the best parts of uh, our location on a hospital here. We've got multiple different areas which all of our teaching service teams uh, will take over with one intern usually and then one of the residents and a med student. And in each of them, great workspaces. And then we have a large common area out here. Tons of computers. We're in the process of upgrading all the monitors. Uh, making sure we have good quality equipment. Uh, people like to leave their bikes in here. We've got the couch up, and everybody's got their own personal storage spaces. I'm coming in. All right, hello. One of our workspaces. Hello. Hi, Juliet. Ooh, with whom am I speaking? Um, this is just our tour video. Oh, nice. This is one of our workspaces. window. So this is our kitchen with our nice little cubbies. We also have our fridge, put all our leftovers in, and then the most important thing we use is the microwave. The microwave! It's just got some nice stuff on it. It's very, it's interesting. Hi, Kelly. Hi. What's your favorite spot in the hospital? Ooh. Um. <laughs> Ooh. 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 The outside space, the outside of the cafe by the fountain. That's a really mm. good place to like. The cancer plaza. The cancer plaza, yes. yes. Hello. Hi. Cool workspace. Yeah. We have some beautiful lamps that we placed earlier this year. Ooh, lamps. Love lamps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. good view. It's really nice in here. Sarah, what's your favorite spot on the hospital or in the oh, hospital? Oh, I have a favorite spot. So at the in the tower and by the um in the cancer center on the seventh floor there's this like room with like a ton of windows and you can see most of portland and it's beautiful very cool we went there earlier actually bogdan will you wave <laughs> no what will you wave hello oh, sure. <laughs> all right ladies get ready to wave Who's excellent? <laughs> Detailed list of instructions on where to seek care. Okay. So they've been super helpful for me, even if they can't be the, the follow-up person. Okay. Is she virtually checked in then, too? Yeah, she's in the waiting room. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, I'll go arrive her. I thought that the video for the tour was... This is the tour? Welcome to the sixth floor of the Cancer Tower. This is by far my favorite spot in the hospital. There's fresh air, there's beautiful trees, it's quiet, it's an amazing place to staff because there's never anyone out here. So please, come enjoy. Sometimes 70 is 